so uh, to do A, uh, so the problem with this question is that because you're not given the matrix representation of any matrix with respect to any basis, uh, the only option you have is to actually act this T on the basis themselves and see where it goes to. Okay? So let's see what where T applied to very first basis element goes to. So T12 is what? It will be 3 times 1 minus 2 times 2, uh, 1 plus 2. And that's negative 1, comma 3. And now you have to represent negative 1, comma 3 as a linear combination of um, 1, 2, and then 1, 3, so that a plus b would be negative 1, and then 2a plus 3b is equal to 3. Let's multiply by 2 here and subtract so that negative b is equal to negative 5, giving you b as 5. Plug that back in here and see that a plus b equals to negative 1 means a is negative 1 minus 5, which is negative 6. Okay? So here's what we just figured out. If I have t as a matrix from a to a, then when you multiply 1, 0, because 1, 0, A means this very first element, 1, 2, right? Uh, this is the same thing as applying T to 1, 2, right? And then, uh, if you apply T to 1, 2, we found out that the resulting vector is negative 6, comma, 5. Right? Because what does this mean? This means, with respect to this basis, A, Negative 6 and 5 are the coefficients to represent the vector. So uh, this really means negative 6 times 1, 2 plus 5 times 1, 3. Okay? But what is that? That's really negative 6, negative 12 plus 5, comma 15, right? That's exactly negative 1, comma 3, which is the output of out of this result, right? So you really have to be able to know how this matrix converts to the actual vector in 2 by 2 space. <coughs> Is that okay? All right, so, so we have that. And that's good because this tells you what? What about this one? What does this tell you? It's the It's the first column of this matrix. Right? So we found the first column. So that means we just have to find the second column. Right? T of 1, 3. And uh, that's going to give you uh, 3 times 1 minus 2 times 3, and 1 plus 3, which is negative 3 comma 4. Again, I need to represent this as, as a times 1, 2 plus b times 1, 3. And that means a plus b is equal to negative 3. And then uh, 2a plus 3b equals to 4. So let's, let's multiply this by 2. 2a plus 2b should be negative 6. And subtract. So, so this, this one's twice of the top, and then I'm just subtracting this minus this so that b is equal to 10. Plug it back in here, and I get a as negative 13. So the result is that if I multiply t, a to a, times uh, 0, 1, a, it gives you negative 13 and 10 which is uh, A. Okay. So now I figured out exactly what this matrix is. What is the matrix? First column is negative 6 and 5. 
Second column is negative 13 and 10. Done. That's what this is. Any questions so far? Okay. Is that good? All right. And so, uh, now we could do the same thing for part B, but that won't be too interesting. So let me show you how to do it using the conversion or transition matrix from one basis system to another, right? So answer to A is that this is negative 6, 5, negative 13, and 10. And then we can say that T <coughs> B to B is uh, T A to A. Okay, so what should I put here? What to what? What to what? B to A, right? And then what about here? A to B. Okay, so <laughs> what I need from the first matrix <coughs> is that it has to take A to B. So if I take 1, 0, B, It should be giving me one zero a. That's that's what. No, is that what it is? to A. What, what, what does that mean? That means uh, if I take uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have to be careful here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so what this means is, what is one zero? One zero B is 2, negative 3, right? Now, 2, negative 3 is the actual vector that gets operated by the identity. What does identity do to this 2, negative 3? It stays 2, negative 3, it stays two, negative three right? So this output should be 2, negative 3. But the problem is the basis has, this has to be represented using basis A. So that's what you need. Okay? Does that make sense? See, the the basic principle what I which is like under uh, underneath everything that I'm saying is the following thing. If I have any operator from one basis system to another, okay? And then what this does is you you have an underlying vector, but any vector must be represented on using this basis system, the, the thing you start with. And uh, what it does is, uh, eventually this gets operated on V, and the resulting vector must be represented under whatever this is required. It's sending basis A to basis B. That's, that's what you need, right? So, so, uh, <coughs> So, so under this same principle, you can see that what is 1, 0, B? This is really this vector under B, right? And, and therefore, when I operates on this, it's still the same vector. I know it doesn't do anything, but now you have to represent it under the basis A. Okay? All right, so now let's see how to get this. 
Now, I know that this is very confusing, so I, I'll give you a minute to think about how to get this. How to get that. You want to say 2 comma negative 3 is what? A times 1, 2. Plus B, one, three. B times 1, 3. Right? So that A plus B must be 2. And 2A plus 3B must be negative 3. Then you double this. 2A plus 2B equals to 4. Subtract and you get B as negative 7. Plug it back in and you get A as 9. So I know that this must be 9, no, yeah, 9 and negative 7. Okay. That reveals the first column of this matrix. Okay. And my point is, this 9 and negative 7 has nothing to do with any of these vectors, right? And that's the, the reason is, in our previous example, one of them was a, a standard basis, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. In that case, uh, you would expect some of these to be either the matrix formed by the basis or the inverse of that matrix. But here, it's, it's none of those. All right, and then uh, you do the same thing. Uh, I, A, B to apply to 0, 1, B should be this, uh, the, the, the vector 1, negative 2 represented under basis A. Right? So that's saying 1 comma negative 2 has to be represented as A times 1, 2 plus B times 1, 3. Okay, let, let me do, write the second part first. We've done this many times. 2A plus 3B should be negative 2. Right? And then the first one, A plus B, must be 1. So if I multiply by 2, and then subtract, you get b as negative 4. But a plus b has to be 1, so b should be, a has to be 5. So I know that this must be 5 comma negative 4. Okay, so we're almost there because now we, we can put those two matrices together and identify by what this matrix is. This is going to be 9, negative 7 here, and then 5, negative 4. Okay? Now what's the inverse of this matrix? I need the matrix that does the opposite, right? What's that? Uh, you, you just do 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 minus negative 35. So the determinant is 1 over, the determinant is negative 1. So it's 1 over negative 1. Switch these two around, negative 4 and 9. Negate the off-diagonal elements. I'm just using the formula for the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. So that this is going to be 4, negative 7, and 5, and negative 9. OK, so we are almost there. Because now I know that the answer for T, B to B is, let's say, uh, B to A is this one. So 4, negative 7, and 5, negative 9, times negative 6, 5, negative 13, 10. And then this matrix, uh, 9, negative 7. 5, negative 4. So I have to multiply these matrices. Okay? This times this will be 25, so will be 1. This times this will be negative uh, 52, plus 50, so negative 2. This is negative 42, no, positive 42, negative, negative 3 here. This times this would be, what is it? 91, minus 90. So we won. Okay, so this is what I got when, when I multiply these two matrices. And now I still have to multiply these two. And that's going to be 14 plus 9, so 23. 
the a plus 5, 13, negative 27, negative 34, negative 15, negative, negative 19. Okay, so that's the answer for T, B, to B. Okay, so I believe uh, not only I finished B, but I also did C, right? Okay. So let's just do this one. How would you do this one? So let me finish off this second answer. B is that T, B to B is 23, negative 34, 13, and negative 19. That's what we have. And then, oh, maybe I shouldn't have erased this one. But anyways, uh, I, B to A is uh, 4, 5, negative 7, negative 9. Okay. So these are the answers I have for A, B, and C. Now let's do D. What is T, B, A? Well, that would be T, B to B, but right in front, I need identity that takes converts A to B. Right? That's, that's what I need. Right? So, I just need B to B, which is 23, 13, negative 34, negative 19, multiplied by this matrix that has the answer C. 4, 5, negative 7, negative 9. So that would be 12, 92, minus 91, so it would be 1 here. Okay. And then this times this would be 15, 1, 15, 117 minus would be negative 2. Okay. And then 4, 136 with a minus. Three, so it's plus, so it's negative 3 here. And then this times this would be negative 170 uh, plus 171, so it would be 1. Okay. So that's what you get. <coughs>